Hi guys. I understand how you feel. That price for a relatively well-maintained Yamaha 62 Series 2 seems a bit good. Seems like a good price. I think it's a good price compared to what I paid for it. It's a real good price, all right? So, here we go. This is the horn we're selling there. I will repackage it as you found it in a well-nested in bubble wrap. So, let's get back to the box for a moment. Get on the horn. The saxophone. Again, I don't know much about the history of the saxophone. It is de-lacquered, I would say. I mean, it seems to me that, because you see some of the keys, a lot of the keys still have lacquer on them. I've never been really impressed with the Yamaha lacquer anyway. Somebody, before I bought it, took the lacquer off. Okay. Uh, I like it, actually. I like I like unlacquered things. I've de-lacquered a few horns myself. Uh, it's not the best job of it, but it didn't hurt the horn, didn't hurt the saxophone. Uh, some people think it makes it better. I'm not going to claim that. It's like maybe the original strap, Yamaha strap. It may not be the original case. I've had several Yamahas that I've you know, put out, but this is the original neck. If you want to talk about getting a, uh, what? Well, no, I've got other necks, but I will talk about those later. This is just a standard, I believe, Yamaha mouthpiece. See what it is. It's a, probably not the original ligature either. It's a, it's a, it's a 4C. It's a 4C, which is pretty closed, I think. I use very closed mouthpieces. Pretty soft reeds. It's probably a number two, Rico two. You know, no, no big deal about it. But I know you want to hear it, so you know this is not a demonstration of my skill. All right, which is nothing to demonstrate. But I think I can get all the way through the horn. All right, let's go low to high. Make sure we got all the notes here. All right. to the high F sharp, which is on a key. Uh, I'm not great at altissimo, but just to give you an idea of what it could do, possibly, if you're good at altissimo. saxophone. Just let you know, what do I consider the worst dents on it? Let me see if I can find them. There's one there. See, you can't really see that. Uh, uh, what else we got? Um, I like that it's starting to tarnish in some places. I imagine depending on how you handle it, it'll tarnish really nicely. Um, 
other damage, other damage. Uh, the, the bell has got this little ripple here. You can't hardly see, you can't see it. Nobody, your, your audience is not gonna see it. Again, you got the nice tarnish getting going there. But if you feel it, you can feel some ripple to that where it's been, where it's been repaired. Uh, uh, but, but again, that's not noticeable. Why would I even dare to get rid of it? Because I've bought too many saxophones. I own a, uh, I own a, uh, an 875 and a 61. I just sold a, a purple logo 52. I'm about to get another 52 back from a student that I'll probably be putting on the market as well. It's not purple logo, but it's a great horn. Um, I've got, uh, I'm just trying to decide which one I'm going to keep, the 61 or the 875. Other than that, I got other stuff I'll be putting out. I might be putting out some specialty necks, you know. And I got an M1 and a V1, but I think the M1 goes with the um, goes with the 875. Anyway, that's it. I hope this is what you wanted.